everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Suze. Today I'm going to be showing you a little study nook makeover. This study nook will be in my walk-in robe between my two PAX units that I have in there. The space wasn't being utilized. I thought it'd be a nice idea to pop a little desk in there. You could use it as a vanity. I'm using it as a little study area just for my husband and myself. I'll go through all of the products that you're going to need today. So you're going to need a measuring tape, a drill, timber screws. These are four millimeters by 25 millimeters and there's 20 in here. I will not be needing 20 but I bought black screws um, to go with these L-shaped black brackets. These are 200 by 250 and they're 50 kilograms and they were five dollars each from Bunnings and these were two dollars fifty. What I'm also using today is this Specrite Oak Utility Panel. These are available at Bunnings. This one was a little bit expensive. It was $65 and I did have to have it cut down. So I wasn't exactly happy with that, but at the same time, I'm making a desk for a custom sized area. It had to fit properly. So this was the best way to do it rather than buying a small desk from Kmart or anything like that. And the space that I needed was 600 deep. So it will fit perfectly in the space um, now that it's cut down. So yeah. All up, this DIY was $87. So if you've got a space that is a little tricky to work with, I would highly recommend buying something like this. The boards are absolutely beautiful. I'll show you the bigger one. So if you can see it here, it has a beautiful wood grain through it. And I think it'll look really nice as a desk. What I'll also be doing is cutting a hole in the back of it for all of my cords to run through uh, once it's all in. So that way it'll be a lot easier to access all of the electricals. These are also available in different colors and sizes as well. So if you don't like the um, natural color look, you can also go for something that's more of a mahogany or a darker oak that I think they had there. These are also fantastic for cheese boards. I don't know if anyone has ever done a grazing platter, but these are amazing. I think they're $45 for the huge one and they are kitchen grade safe. So they are made for bench tops. So if you are someone who likes a good grazing platter, because I do, these are a great idea for that as well. I can use this small bit, even though it's been cut off, for a shelf later on. So I'll just grab another two brackets from Bunnings. I think they're $4 each for the smaller ones. And I can use this as a shelf above my desk as well. So it won't go to waste. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing how I do this, please keep watching. Okay, so this is the space we will be working with today. I'm going to measure the height. Most desks are around 74 to 75 centimeters high, which is usually the perfect height to fit a chair under. So I'll be measuring that up now, marking everything out and installing the brackets. Okay, so today we will be installing them onto the Brax systems themselves instead of the wall. They're a lot more sturdy and I won't have to find studs. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I am using four brackets because the wood we're using is very heavy. So I would definitely recommend using four. of a quick tip if you wanted to do something like this and you don't have a saw or anything like that measure out your space Bunnings will cut any size of wood that you need so I got this cut at Bunnings so I didn't have to cut it myself and it saved me a lot of time I've set up the computer because I needed to know where it was going to go before installing this shelf 
the shelf was made from the leftover cuttings that I had when the guy at Bunnings cut down the board. I had two brackets left over from Flynn's bedroom makeover that we did um, and I didn't want to waste it because it wasn't cheap wood. So it's all done. I've drilled the hole in here which I honestly needed my husband's help because it kept getting stuck and smoking which was quite scary but we got it done. I'm gonna head to Kmart and buy a couple of things. I need a new desk chair. Not sure if I'm gonna get one of those or just a standard normal chair. I will show you my haul when we get back. Off to Kmart! Scoffing our faces because it's <laughs> Hungry Jacks and it's delicious. We have to go to Super A Mart because Kmart didn't have any chairs whatsoever. Um, I think with this whole situation in the world at the moment, nobody has any stock. So now we're going to try Super A Mart and hopefully they have something. Okay, so we're back and shopping was exhausting, especially taking two girls with me. But we got it all done in the end and I ended up purchasing this chair from Super Ama. It was $69 and it was a bit more than what I was willing to spend, but you can't have a desk without a chair. The rest of the stuff I got from Kmart, which was the plant, I think all up, all of this was probably around $60 as well. So this makeover has not been the cheapest of makeovers, but the space is done now and it will stay like that for quite a while. Things are so nice. I just feel like I have to do this to them. So this is the colour scheme. It's whites, marbles, pinks, golds. Most of the bedroom is nice and neutral because I share it with my husband. I try to be mindful not to make the room too girly because it's a shared space with him. But the desk area, I thought I'd pink it up a bit and make it a little girly. So yeah, I'm looking forward to styling the room. So stay tuned and we'll get to styling now. video hopefully you guys liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if there were any products in here that you wanted to know more about please leave a comment below I will see you in the next video thank you for watching mm -hmm.